Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to wind off our series on June 2020, Maths Paper 2, we will revise from number 10 to number 12. So number 10 was a question on tricks. Uh, in the diagram, KLNG is a trapezium in which LMN is a straight line and KLM is equals to MNG, which is 90 degrees. MK is equals to 7 centimeters. MG is equals to 5 centimeters. LMK is equals to 60 degrees. And NMG is equals to 35 degrees. On part A, we want to find the length of NG. We want to find this length. So to find NG, we are going to use the same rule of finding sides. First, we need to place the small letters on our diagram. Um, they are placed opposite of the capital letter. We are having this M, so it means our M, small letter M is going to be here. We have this G, the small letter G is going to be here. And we have this N, the small letter N is going to be here. So NG is this M. We say M over sine M is equals to N over sine N. We want to make M the subject of the formula, so we multiply by sine M on both terms. Here by sine M and here by sine M, so that this sine M is going to cancel this sine M, so that we are left with M as the subject of the formula. And then the small letter N is 5 centimeters, and then sine M is this 35 degrees so we write 5 times sine 35 and sine n is this 90 degrees so we write sine 90 we are going to punch this on the calculator 5 sine 35 divided by sine 90 we are obtaining 2.8678. The degree of accuracy is not specified, so we are going to round correct to three significant figures in order to obtain uh, 2.87. So our answer is 2.87 centimeters. Don't forget to put the units. On part B, we want to calculate the size of KMG which is this angle. So we can see that this angle is on a straight line. In order to obtain KMG, we are going to say 180 degrees minus 60 degrees plus 35 degrees. Let us punch on the calculator 180 minus 60 plus 35. We are obtaining 85 degrees. So KMG is equals to 85 degrees. Don't forget the units. In part C, we want to calculate area of triangle KMG. So this is the triangle KMG. To find the area, we are going to say half AB sine theta. So it is half times 7 times 5 times sine 85. Let us punch on the calculator, half uh, times 35 sine 85. We are obtaining 17.433. The degree of accuracy is not specified, so we are going to round to three significant figures in order to obtain 17.4 square centimeters. In part D, we want to calculate the length of kg. So this is the kg that we want to calculate. We are going to use the cosine rule of finding sides. So for this triangle, we need first to put our small letters on the diagram. They are placed opposite side of the capital letter. We are having capital letter M here, 
So our small letter M is going to be here. We have this G. Our small letter G is going to be here. We have this K. Our small letter K is going to be here. So write K here. So the cosine rule of finding sides, we say M squared is equals to K squared plus G squared minus 2KG cos M. So our K is um, uh, 5 centimeters and our G is 7 centimeters. So we are going to substitute on our um, uh, formula. So we are saying M squared is equals to K squared plus G squared minus 2 kg cos m so we said our k is 5 and square it and our g is 7 and we square it we say minus 2 times 5 times 7 cos 85 let us punch on the calculator 5 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 5 times 7 cos 85. So we are obtaining 67.899. This is m squared. So to find m, we are going to say square root of this. So we punch square root sign and we say equal. We are going to obtain 8.2 form and we round it correct to three significant figures to obtain 8.24 centimeters. Finally, on part E, we want to find the size of mkg. So this is the angle that we want to calculate, mkg, this angle. So in order to find this angle, we are going to apply the sine rule of finding angles. So we calculated this M and we obtained uh, 8.4, 8.24 centimeters. So let me label here, 8.24 centimeters. So it means that we are having an angle in this side. And then from this uh, angle K, which we want to calculate, each side is 5 centimeters. So we are going to use uh sine 85 over 8.24 is equals to sine k over 5. First we need to multiply both terms by 5 so that we are left with sine k. Let us punch on the calculator. Want to find 5 sine 85 divided by 8.24. We are obtaining this 0 0.604. And then to find uh, K, we are going to say sine inverse of 0 0.604. So let us punch second function, sine we are obtaining 37.1919. And on this, the degree of accuracy is not specified. So we are going to round correct to one decimal place since it is degrees. So this 37.19 correct to one decimal place, it is going to be 37.2 degrees. So this was all about seeing tricks in June 2020. Let's move on to the next question. Number 11, it was a question on weight problem on inequality. A group of youth wishes to make and paint chairs and table for sale. Let X be the number of chairs and Y be the number of tables to be produced. The group wishes to produce at least five chairs and not less than five tables. Write down two inequalities, one in X and the other in Y, that satisfy these conditions. 
So you should know that if they are saying at least, it means greater than or equal to. And if they are saying at most, it is less than or equal to. So uh, we are told that the group wishes to produce at least five chase. And our chase are represented by X. So it means X is greater than or equal to five. That is going to be our first inequality. And then the inequality in Y, we are told that the number of tables should not be less than five table. So it means they should be greater than five. We are going to write Y is greater than five. Part B, the group has 48 hours to make the chairs in the tables. If it takes four hours to make a chair and three hours to make a table, write down on inequality in X and Y that satisfy this condition. So the term that is taken to produce uh, chase and the time that is taken to produce uh, chase, it should not be um, greater than 48. So it should be less than or equal to 48. So we are going to say 4x plus 3y is less than or equal to 48. That is going to be our inequality. And then on part C, the group hired a compressor for 14 hours to paint the chairs and the tables. Given that it takes one hour to paint a chair and one hour to paint a table, form an inequality in X and Y that satisfy this condition. So we are seeing the time taken to paint uh, chairs and time taken to paint table it should not exceed 14 hours. So it should be less than or equal to 14. So we are going to write X plus Y is less than or equal to 14. That is going to be our inequality. Part D, the point X, Y represent X, chase and Y table. Construct and show by shading the unwa unwanted regions, the region in which X, Y must lie. Use a scale of two centimeters to represent two units on both axes. So this is how we are going to uh, present our inequality. We are having two centimeters representing two chairs in the X axis and two centimeters representing two tables in the y-axis. So the first inequality that we want to present on the diagram, uh, let me turn the paper. It is x is greater than or equals to 5. So our x is equals to 5 is here. I'm going to draw a bold line since it is going to be greater than or equal to 5. The line need to be bold. After drawing the line, we need to label it x is equals to 5. So x is greater than or equal to 5. It means the region that is less than is not required. That is the region that we are going to shade out. Next, we want to present y is greater than 5 on our graph. So I'm going to draw the line which is y is equals to 5. This line is going to be a broken line since it is strictly greater than 5. So y is greater than 5. The region that is less than 5 is unwanted. So we are going to shade this region that is below line y is equals to 5. So this is the next inequality that we want to present on the graph. So we are going to draw what we call a table of values. So we are going to say, we want to find the value of y if x is equals to 0. So if x is equals to 0, we are having 3y is equals to 48. And then we divide by 3. 
3 into 3 is 1, 1 times y is y, 3 into 48 is 16. So when x is equals to 0, y is going to be 16. And we want to find the value of x when y is equals to 0. It is going to be 4x is equals to 48. We divide both sides by 4 so that our x is going to be 12. So we want to draw our graph using these two coordinates. So we are saying when x is equals to 0, y is equals to 16. So it is this point. And then we are saying if x is equals to 12, um, our y is going to be equals to 0. So it is this point. We are going to join these two points using a ruler. 4x plus 3y is less than or equal to 48. So we need to join these two points using a bold line. So this is how we are going to join. We are going to join like this. And we need to label it. It is 4x, 4x plus 3y is equals to 48. So 4x plus 3y is um, less than or equal to 48. So it means that the region that is above is unwanted. This region which is above is unwanted. We are going to shade it out. So again, we are going to draw a table of values for x plus y is less than or equal to 14. Let's say our x is equals to 0. The value of y is going to be 14. And then if our y is equals to 0, the value of x is going to be equal to 14. So we are going to plot our graph using these two points. So when x is equals to 0, y is equals to 14. When when y is equals to 0, x is going to be equals to 14. We are going to join these two points using a ruler. So x plus y is equals to 14, is less than or equal to 14. It means that the region that is above is going to be shaded. So um, the region that is below the line is going to remain unshaded. So don't forget to label all the lines. It means that this is the wanted region. This small portion is the wanted region. By doing this, you obtain all your six marks on part, part one. On part two, find the, pro, uh, the profit on a chair is $10 and the profit on a table is $20. Use the graph to find the greatest possible profit that can be made. So we need to try the corner points of this wanted region. Uh, we need to find the coordinates of these points of this wanted region. So these are the combination that we have. Uh, here it is nine tables and five chairs. In this corner, it is five tables and five chairs. In this corner, it is eight chairs and five tables. We are going to work out all the profits of these corner points to find which one is the greatest profit. So let us work out the profit. We are going to start with this one with five chairs and nine tables. So we say five times ten. Um plus 9 times 20. Here we are obtaining $230. And then let us try the next one. Next one is having 5 chairs and 5 tables. So it is 15 plus 100, which is giving us $150. And then the next one, it is having 8 chairs and 5 tables. So we say 8 times 10 to obtain 80. And then 80 times e plus 100, we are going to obtain 180. 
so we can see that the highest profit is two hundred thirty dollars. So that was all about the, the weight problem on inequality on number eleven. We now need to move on to the final question, which is number twelve. Number twelve was a question on statistics. The table below shows the height x centimeters of a group of two hundred children. Find the value of p. We want to find this value of p. So in order to find the frequency density, the formula is frequency over class width. So frequency for p is 45. And then the class width, we are going to say 80 minus 75 to obtain 5. So 45 divided by 5, we obtain 9. So that is the value of p. So to find the value of this Q, we say frequency over class width. The frequency is 40, and class width we say 100 minus 80, which is equals to 20. 40 divided by 20 is equals to 2. So it means Q is equals to 2. Yeah, P is equals to 9. And then on part B, we want to calculate an estimate of mean height of the children. So in order to find the mean height, we say uh, summation of midpoints times frequency over the total frequency. So for this first group, we want to find the midpoint. We say 60 plus 50 divided by 2 to obtain 55 and we multiply by frequency, which is 24. And then for next, we say 60 plus 70 divided by 2, we get 65, and we multiply by 38. And for this, we say 70 plus 75 divided by 2, we get 72.5 times 53. And then next, we are having 75 uh, plus 80 divided by 2, which is going to give us 77.5 times 45. And then finally, we have the um, 800 plus 80, and we divide it by 2 to get 90. We multiply that 90 times this 40. We are going to say all over 200 children. Let us punch on the calculator. It's 55 times 24 plus 65 times 38 plus 72.5 times 53 plus 77.5 times 45 plus 90 times 40. And then we divide by 200. We are obtaining... 73.6 this is going to be 73.6 centimeters that is going to be the estimate of the mean height so on part c we want to draw a histogram to show the information in the table we are supposed to use a scale of two centimeters to represent 10 units on the h axis which is going to be the x axis and two centimeters to represent two units on the on the frequency density axis, which is going to be the y-axis. So we are going to present our height in the x-axis and then the frequency density in the y-axis. So first we want to present 50 to 60 and this um, frequency density 2.4. So our 2.4 is here. And then our 50 to 60 is also here. So this is how we are going to present. It is going to be like this. Let us check on the back of the question paper, uh, the next one which we want to draw on the graph. So the next which we are going to draw is 3.8 on frequency density, and then 60 to 70 on the x-axis. So 3.8 is somewhere here. 
and then we have six to seven so we are going to join like this so next we are having um 70 to 75 on our x-axis and then the frequency density is 10.6 so first one to draw from 70 to 75 uh, it is going to be between 70 and 80 and then 10.6 is somewhere here so we are going to join this like this and then we draw a line that goes to the x-axis like this and then we join also here that is going to be our presentation next we are having 75 to 80 and our frequency density is 9 so 9 is here and then 75 to 80 we are going to put our line here that is going to be our presentation and then finally we are having our height from 80 to 100 and then our um, frequency density is 2 so our 2 is here and then 80 to 100 is to this point and we join here by doing this you obtain all your five marks on this question that is that is the presentation of the frequency density um, of the histogram so let's move on to the next question part d which is the final question two children are chosen at random from the group find the probability that each has height which is greater than 75 centimeters so we are going to take our um, table those with the height greater than 75 centimeters we are having these 45 plus 40 so we say 45 plus 40 and we obtain 85 we say 85 over 200 that is the probability of the face team child having greater height greater than 75 centimeters so the probability of choosing another child who has height greater than 75 it is going to be 84 over 199 so we punch on our calculators 85 over 200 times 84 over 199 we are obtaining 357 over 1990 or we can write it as a decimal it is going to be 0 0.179 correct to three decimal places three significant figures this marks the end of our series on June 2020. Thank you so much, guys, for following me on this channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos. I love you all. This is Eve signing out. Let us meet again in more vision which are coming.